Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the Sterling Scoop. My name is Julie Bowman and I'm highlighting all of the fun things you can see, do and eat in the Sterling area. And today I'm here at Ridgetop Coffee and Tea with Amanda. So Amanda, how did this all come about? This is one of my favorite places to come. So um, we, Ridgetop Coffee is a ministry of Riverside Church. And what happened was when they started 25 years ago, when we, when, um, Riverside was founded, um, the, they were given a piece of property on Cascades Parkway um, to build their church. And so a couple of years went by until we had enough money to even think about building the church. And then um, we started thinking about what that would look like. And we asked some architects to look at the property. And it turned out that it wasn't actually big enough to build a church on. So then we started this long process of changing the zoning and selling it. And then finally, we sold it. And we had this piece of money and we wanted to build a church somewhere. And we, but we didn't want just a church that was busy on Sunday mornings and empty the rest of the week. We wanted somewhere that the community would gather and it would be a blessing to the community. So um, there are two ideas that were thrown out there, a coffee shop and a gym. And fortunately, the coffee shop <laughs> idea won out, or I wouldn't be here. But um, so then we had this money. We looked around and we decided to buy this building um, because it was we could get a lot for our money. And um, at that time, I was just one of the members of the committee that was looking at what the coffee shop would look like. And um, when we bought this building, and they said, "Okay, this is where the coffee shop's going to be." And I walked in and it was a sea of cubicles and drop ceilings and it was so cold and like not, just not a place that you would want to hang out. And I thought, oh my goodness, we're never going to be able to pull this off. But fortunately we had um, a great architect that worked with us and um, we, you know, a lot of people with great ideas and we came up with this finally. We took out the drop ceilings and kind of built it out. We, um, do people donated furniture and we pulled apart pallets to make the front of the bar and we just uh, ever the whole church gathered together and worked really hard to pull this off and um, here it is and that's kind of how it came came about and um, so I think Riverside's a very special church that um, they want so much to um, to you know to be a part to give something to the community Yes, it's so homey and cozy here. If you haven't been, you walk in, you feel like you're at home. I mean, there's all different couches and tables to sit. It's just a warm, inviting feeling. Even if you don't drink coffee or tea, they have some other yeah, nice yummy treats. Yeah. yeah, there's lots of things to do. It's fun to come in and relax with a book, bring your laptop. They have games on the wall. You can bring your kids. And there is a whole play area back there um, for, for preschoolers, the, for the yeah, little ones. For little ones. So I know a lot of moms groups meet here and they let their kids play and they're able to have some adult conversations, which is a rarity when you have the little ones and um, people come for work meetings. Yep. And, yep. Yeah. and we have a meeting room that you can um, look on our website and it says when it is um, available and when it's already rented. There's also a form online that you can submit and um, get it re reserve it. It doesn't cost anything and we reserve it on a first come first serve basis. So um, it's just another thing that River, Riverside is giving to the community. Yes, so it's free. Did you hear that? You can reserve a meeting room for free and have a great cup of coffee while you're having your meeting. Yep. Um, is there anything you would like anyone that wants to visit that they should know before they come or just? Um, oh, not that this is something you need to know before you come. We also have a community board over there that um, has, you can put advertise for shows or events or on um, even your your business, your small business, you can um, advertise on that board, and we we don't um, like it's not only for us; it's for the community to use. And so a lot of people do put things, and I always see people looking at that board. Yes. Almost everybody that comes in is scouring that board. It's always got something interesting on it. It does. I was just looking. Someone selling some national tickets. I was like looking yeah. at those. I was going to pull it up my calendar to see if that would work for us. Yeah. So there's yeah, always something interesting on there. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> Babysitters, or you know, just anything you can imagine. So when you come in, take a look at the board, and you never know what you'll find on there. Yeah, some good finds. 
it really is just a nice community space and like I said it's so warm and inviting I love sitting and relaxing here even if I am working I don't feel like I'm working so another part um, that makes it a part of the community is we try to source everything from local small businesses so our coffee we get from a small batch roaster in Vienna Cafe Amore our tea we get from a small tea company in Purcellville Dominion Tea. Our baked goods are, um, many of them are from single women bake bakeries that, um, that you know, have just, they have their specialty. Our um, sandwich cookies are to die for. They're from Nashi Cookies. And we, um, but our, our, we have a lot of good baked goods. But, um, so we try to, whenever we can, we source things locally in small businesses. So that is part of us being a part of the community. Yes, building everyone up yeah. in the local community. Exactly. I love that. I love that. Exactly. So I end all of these interviews with two questions. Okay. What is your favorite thing to see, do, or eat in Sterling? Well, right now, my family and I are really loving eating at Cafe Sano. <laughs> we love to eat there. We love sitting out on the patio, and um, they have really, really good salads, and I love their um, white pizza with Ooh. arugula on top. It's yeah. really yummy. That mm -hmm. sounds good. It's dinner time. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and if um, this is the last question, it's real estate related, but if you had $100,000 to do a crazy upgrade, either to your home or to the cafe, what would you do? Well, I probably should say something to the cafe, but I would do something <laughs> for my home. Um, we've lived in that house for um, a long time, like almost 20 years, and um, there's some definite things that we need to redo the bathrooms, but one thing I'd really like to do is put an extra um, bathroom in upstairs. It's an older home, and it um, has five bedrooms upstairs, but only two bathrooms. And what, I have four kids, and when we were all living there, it was, you know, it always felt like we were short of bathrooms. Yes. So yes. I would like to somehow carve out, you know, make a, even take part of a bedroom away or something and bathroom. put another bathroom up, yes. and up there. Very and practical. And then I would put um, skylights in the, because we have a screen and porch, which I love, and we sit out there almost every day in the summer, but it does make the back of the house dark, so I would put some skylights in my yeah. family room to counteract that. Yes, <laughs> yes. I would love a screen and porch myself. Well, that's it for the Sterling Scoop today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.